So this is the Jenkins governance meeting. It's the 3rd of November. Thanks everyone for being here and sharing my screen. So proposed agenda that I had was news and election status report were the only two things that I had on my list. Any other items? I got nothing. Okay, and I apologize. I have a, a, a hard stop about 20 minutes into the meeting. So I will have to delegate the meeting host thing if we reach that point to someone else. Sounds good. All right. So news security release is happening tomorrow. LTS baseline is also selected and will be the same version as is in the security release tomorrow. And big news, the Guava update has merged. It will be in the weekly after the LTS baseline. So think of this as similar to the tables to divs change where we will give ourselves several months before the, we'll give ourselves three or four months of weekly testing of the Guava update before it visit, arrives in an LTS next year. What um, is the likely impact for users? Uh, there are there are some plugins that uh, are, appear to be unmaintained and need an update. It's a relatively small number of plugins, but there are some, and so some some users will be impacted. I don't think the impact will be anywhere near as large as the tables to divs change was. Will it be obvious to users when that happens? It will. Okay. Yeah. the The failure mode, if I understand correctly, is quite obvious. Cool. That's good because it's hard to explain why tables to div failed so right right and this one i think i think will fail with with much more obvious failure messages like plugin failed to load because yeah, okay. of the unresolved symbol and then a static version of wiki oh the hacktoberfest blog post is online and a static html version of wiki.jenkins.io is online uh, the content can be edited from the github repo and Nginx redirects are available and seem to be working. So most of the plugin pages are correctly redirected to plugins.jenkins.io. Nice behavior. Any questions or concerns on the news items? I'm just wondering about the static HTML conversion. Uh, what is the plan here? I thought we wanted to migrate everything to Jenkins.io. Now we have the content in the wiki and we can edit it. Well, well, so they, they took a dump of the wiki when it, when it went down and all those pages have been shoved into a repo and served by Nginx. There's no dynamic content. There's no database. It's just pointed at a GitHub repo. Um, I'm like you though. I don't think it should have come back. I think it should have stayed down so that we had motivation to get it finished. Um, I think every time we bring it back, the problem just, just gets stale longer, but. A, a valid point in this case, by bringing it back, we got the benefit that links resolve and links that were dated to, and for instance, pointing to a plugin documentation that had already been redirected are again redirected. So I think the user experience is better but you're, you're right that we've got more to do and our plan still is to move content to www.jenkins.io instead of leaving it just to sit on wiki. Did, did that address your question, Uli? Yes, yes, it did. Okay. Anything else on news? Okay, then election status report. We have 74 registered voters. And uh, if I understand correctly, nominations, nominations have ended, have closed. And registration, we're now in the phase where the election committee is verifying that the nominated individuals are willing to accept the nomination and be on the ballot. So Evelina, do you wanna say anything or do you want me to read out uh, uh, Olivia's notes? 
Yeah, I, I I know nothing more than Oliver's note. I did contact notes. I did contact a, a few people last week, uh, and then they they those who answered answered in um, the um, messages uh, to the community. Uh, sorry, election committee. But uh, then I started new work this week, and my my head is somewhere else than elections. So I don't have anything more than what uh, what Oliver Oliver has shared. Do you yeah. have it? Uh... I do have it up, so it's yeah. fine. Uh, he says we have three candidates that have accepted for the board position, um, and notes and the yeah, what is wording here? Yeah, just three candidates have accepted the position uh, or accepted nomination. Um, one hasn't replied and one has declined. So uh, on top of that, so I'm pretty sure that means three total. Uh, officer position, we only have one that there's any uh, competition. Everyone else is straightforward. And between the three of us, we've collected most statements for most people, but we're still finishing that off. Um, and Olivier is, uh, what's the word? Prepared to send out the emails or pull the emails from Discord. So he should be doing that soon. Okay, so he and he had mentioned to me that there was a, a surprise for him in terms of querying the the discourse email addresses. Is that resolved yeah. for him? So he's got. He it says solved. once he finishes uh, merges a fix, it should be fixed. Oh, I just good. didn't think it was necessary to add that note. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like he could, he was only originally grabbing fifty at a time, but now he's paging it properly. Okay. All right. That's excellent. So, so now in, in the spirit of Evelina's, Olivier starts a new job next Monday as well. So he's got the complication that he'll be, he'll be quite heavily loaded. I understood he planned to have the email message ready to send. So the sending active effort was going to be pretty simple so that when he, while he's starting his new job, he also is, is able to still send that email on time. I mean, that's not in the notes. Okay, it's not. All right. Okay, well, we'll hope. Then. The next step for me is to prepare the email to invite the voters and two board members next Monday. So, I mean, he said Monday. Okay, good. Excellent. And then the, the, the actual ballots sent early next week literally the last, the last sentence is next step for me is to pair the email to invite voters to let the documentation officer and the two board members next monday super okay great so i suspect that's monday as well but i don't know super thank you any discussion needed on that topic? Yeah, I'd say not here. If 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 he's in trouble uh, with time, then I would expect him to post a message and and let's see who and how can help. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll take yeah, it. In, uh, yeah, and he didn't indicate he had any time group, yeah. challenge when I talked yeah. to him. Mm -hmm. Great. And then there are things that are brought up in the mailing list that I don't think board needs to address, but it should be because this is a weekly or bi-weekly meeting. Uh, there was discussion about one password. Um, ah, right. Like I said, I don't think it needs to be decided right now, but it's worth writing right. in the minutes. We had great luck with people stepping up to adopt plugins lately which is more work for Tim and I, but it's a good thing. Great. Let's see, and I had proposed uh, proposed docs triage team members, and I'm getting plus ones from that another day or two, and I'll act on the plus ones. 
Oh, uh, good. The Jenkins acceptance test is now fully passing. Oh, yes. Jenkins ATH is green. For the first passing. time in how long? Ever? I think ever. Yes, sir. It's pretty close to ever. If it's not ever, it's pretty close. Uh, I'm just looking through the last two weeks of mail list post. There's talks about companies being able to manage teams. I guess I don't know what that one is about. I'm not going to go into that one. Uh, there's re resurfaced a discussion about having some sort of job board. Yeah, and then the governance meeting again. So yeah, I mean, I just try to highlight some successes and stuff from the main list. Great, thank you. Thanks very much. Anything else? I'm continuing to work on my fun project of converting the website to Gatsby. So expect some more Jenkins.io PR coming to fix data. Well, and thank you for that. Uh, data repairs that we're getting from that are, are wonderful. Thanks very much. The website now supports searching of everything. That's, yeah, that was a big one. That is a really improvement now. Yeah, that's a special thanks to Algolia. That was amazing how easy that was. We ask, and they they propose their own pull request that makes the change, and we see after they do it and merge it, it works. What a I great! Have no idea that meta what that meta data does, but I'm so happy it works. Yeah, uh, really nice. Very, very nice. Absolutely. Yeah, super. I think next meeting, I'm going to try to remember to do this again. I like having the topic. So I'll try to make sure that we have some both mailing list and forms, if anything. Oh, good. Yes. Uh, the forms have getting a little bit heavy on just support questions. I'd love to see more non-support stuff on there, but it's, right. it's still good. Thank you, Mark, for helping me out because I'm getting a little exhausted answering everyone. So well, and and thank you for answering, Gavin. That's great. Well, sorry for being late. You're anyway. just in time for us to finish this off. I think we just reached the point of done with our agenda topics. Oleg, are there any topics you need to bring to the meeting that were not, not already on the agenda? Oh, I can use the advantage of uh, not so many topics and focus on the pretty quick so to do a little bit. Hey, okay. <laughs> so speaking serious, um, just a quick update uh, regarding governance stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, Continuous Delivery Foundation has applied uh, to the inclusive naming initiative. And as we discussed before, we are waiting for Jenkins to be listed there. Uh, just a second. Uh, I lost the uh, Zoom. You said waiting for Jenkins, and I missed the last word there. So we are waiting for the request to be approved. And once it's approved, uh, yeah, we will have uh, Jenkins officially listed there. And uh, Jenkins will be added uh, to uh, the list of uh, events we want to promote. Yep. Great. All right. So, and when you say for the rest request to be approved, that's by the, the INI board, not by CDF. Uh, it's a bit tricky because it goes to the Linux Foundation, but ah, yes, okay. generally at the CDF level, we are approved it. Okay, so there were two stages, one uh, on the TOC level and another one on governance board. Uh, so we passed through that. And uh, okay. yeah, speaking of that, uh, it's rather personal update. Uh, so as far as I discovered, the uh, CDF TOC member is also a member of the CDF governing board. Uh, so with regards to budgets, etc., I can represent uh, Jenkins interests uh, directly on the CDF governing board level, at least uh, until the next elections. So that's you're on the CDF governing board or the Linux Foundation uh, governing board? Uh, CDF. 
Uh, well, great. Linux Foundation would be cool, but it's way above uh, my current uh, rating in whatever foundation. Uh, yeah. So you said you can't uh, talk about it? No, can. I, I, I can. Talk. Oh, no, I thought you said you can't talk about something because you're on the board. And I was like, that's. No, okay. well, I just, I'm not sure I can represent the Jenkins there. So, for example, we will have quite interesting budgeting discussions for the next year, which are about to start, including infrastructure budgets. Uh, yeah, there is pending request to Microsoft with regards to Azure sponsorship, but it's not clear where it will go. So, yeah, uh, basically, being involved in these discussions would be nice. And yeah, for your information, Mark uh, Anders Walgreen, uh, he basically represents uh, CloudBees on the governing board because CloudBees is a premier member. So uh, we used to have one to one meetings with him while I was at CloudBees. So if you want, you can take it over. Thanks. Okay. And yeah, maybe for the record, yeah, I'm changing my affiliation. I'm no longer employed by CloudBees. Um, and yeah. I officially joined the Dynat race uh, on Monday. Uh, so I will send official notice to the developer mailing list, uh, but yeah, it impacts elections uh, because yeah, I'm no longer affiliated. I'm no longer, I don't even have non-competition and other things. So I will be representing another company and yeah, I'm looking forward to quite productive, productive cooperation because uh, Dynamic Trace is quite active in distributed tracing domain these days. So observability stories, etc. Great. Okay. Yeah. Official announcement to be sent, but yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to meet Mark's deadline. I think we are. If there are no other topics, I propose to cl close the meeting. If, if we don't close the meeting, I need to hand hosting to somebody else because I'm, I've got a hard stop that I've got to deal with for personal needs. Uh, let's just uh, call it over. Yeah, I'll try uh, to join on time next time. But yeah, it still uh, depends on uh, this small kid. <laughs> yeah, that small kid is, is a great first focus. Thanks for joining us, Oleg. Okay. Evelina, Uli, Gavin, thanks all. We'll talk again in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Talk to you. Bye.